Okay, so here we are. We're going to practice. Practice a little something. And we're going to start with a background. And these are my gouache colors. And these are the only colors I have. So let's lay them on. It's going to be a little tough to lay them on thick. First thing I want to do is lay down a kind of a, a background. And we're not worried about it being too filled in. That's good. Just like that. The next thing we're going to do is put some blue in there. The only problem with gouache is once you um, wet it, you have to let it dry before you can add something else to it. So, I'm going to do this because I want it to get dry and I should have done the background right away. And that that's good. Okay, so we're going to use this brush here. Some blue in there. Um, I learned that if you put gouache on paper, you put it where you want it and then you leave it alone. You don't keep playing with it because you'll end up um, mucking it up. There's going to be a building that's going to be right there. See there, I just did it more than once. And then when you when you paint more than once, it's going to it's going to pull up. So we don't want to pull up any color. But what we do want is some bricks. So we want some of that, and we want some of that. Burnt sienna, yellow ochre. put some, the bricks are going to go all the way up here. Apparently I have blue on my brush and my brush is too wet. the corner wash it off make it a little darker Okay, so this particular is, is, is broken. We're going to make it so it's like it's broken. Now um, we're going to use a flat brush, a little bit of water. It's got blue on it still, so get rid of that blue. I need some, try this yellow. I'm not sure what kind of yellow I want, but I want a path of some sort. I'm 
Because <clears throat> in the end, to look like something <laughs> I'm just playing around here I have no idea what I'm gonna end up with but we're just gonna keep on going I'm gonna put a doorway in there it can be a log home with shingles This is a path and I'm going to put some, some palms behind or trees, whatever they, whatever it comes out. Palms, so that's kind of cool. Okay, now we're gonna need some branches. Down there, or some sticks. Definitely going to need some green grass. So we want this yellow and this green. <sighs> Too much water. In the background, I'll put some green grass up here. Some sticks. Sticks here. And um, one thing I learned with gouache is you go thicker. Mind you, I am very super new to gouache. So it's, um, I'm learning. I'm just showing you what I've been learning. So be gentle with your comments because um, I don't know what I'm doing. Advice is great and I am interested and willing. Although putting green in my brown, I did not appreciate. Okay. All right, now we're gonna try this Yellow ochre on the path. Let's see how that works. I started that blue up the top. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to fill it, finish, finish the blue sky, and we're going to let it be what it is.
it looks like a dreamy um dreary night sky and that's okay that's okay okay there's my little village um my little village cottage We're just going to pretend it's over there in the South Sea somewhere. Because, well, because we can. Yep, there's the path. A little bit more green. Oh, I hope... I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I didn't um, do too bad of a job on this particular thing. But I am practicing gouache. That's what this is today. This is a practice, and I'm willing to share my practice because um, not everybody. Um, I'm going to get the tape off. Everybody shows their perfect paintings, and I don't need to. I need to show. what I do. Okay. So we went into the South Pacific and we found a little some palm trees on an island. What a, what a way to go. I hope you enjoy this. Have a great day.